My name is Constantine. I'm originally from Athens, Greece, which where I lived in up till the age of 20 years old. In 2008, I moved to Scotland, in which I live in to this day. Coming from Greece has definitely had an impact on my art. I mean, in Athens, the concept of art is in everything that surrounds me. From the architecture of the buildings, to the statues and busts on the street, from street art to churches, interiors, murals, and so on. The Greek style of art prompted a very specific reference point within my work. I would say it is the foundation of it. Additionally, Greek mythology is a very prominent subject matter. I keep coming back to it every so often. My biggest influence is my drive to want to achieve things in life. It is the most powerful tool I possess, the will to succeed. That's all it takes for me. I can draw inspiration from anything around me, anything from something that I want to, to literally just accomplish. I'm currently working on uh, many, many different projects right now. I try to run them all at once, which could be a little bit challenging. The most recent one that I'm putting quite a bit of uh, my focus on, however, would be trying to bring to life uh, the characters of a, of a small book I produced um, not too long ago. It's called Hooligan Affairs. I'm painting these characters on a much larger scale. I feel that the biggest challenge of uh, being an artist is to constantly find new ways of promoting myself, as well as um, sometimes I do get excited and I do want to do many things at once. This could also be quite challenging, so I do have to maintain uh, composure, so to speak, and try to keep it um, more simple. Just finish one thing and then move on to the next one. If I were to give any advice to my younger self would be to never hesitate to go after what I want. Just go for it and figure out how do I do it in the process. It's the best thing. It's the only thing I would say. As a self-taught artist I am, I constantly try new techniques. Um, I have developed my own at this point, I have to say, so I'm pretty confident and I know what I'm doing. However, I wouldn't hesitate to uh, try something new. The most important thing for me is to get the image I have in my head on that canvas, no matter what and no matter how really. So that sometimes might come across as if I'm um, trying something a bit more unconventional. Some time ago I did sort of invented this uh, uh, discipline of uh, etching on glass, which I hadn't seen before. I'm not saying necessarily that I'm the first person who's done it, but I hadn't seen it before, and to this day I still haven't seen it, so I'm quite proud of that. When I'm making art, I would typically listen to music, conversations, documentaries, interviews, or anything that's uh, regarding the subject matter my artwork is in at that time. I uh, kind of have the approach of a, of a method actor, that's how I operate. I would even dress a certain way, speak a certain way in order to be as much in that role as possible, so, to be as close to the subject matter as I can be. It really helps me. I am in the happy position to say that my artwork seems to have a great impact on people, from inspiring them to pursue art as a profession themselves, to try and paint in my style and so on. Once, after I taught a young class of students how to print, one of the students mentioned that this was the highlight of their, of their year. That made me feel really nice. And this is the kind of uh, uh, impact I would like to have, and uh, I like to feel that people are taken away from my artwork. This or anything else really, whatever, whatever it is that makes them feel nice about it, that makes them feel inspired, um, to go after what they want in life, which is what my art is all about. Um, I'm happy, that's all. I'm not looking for much else.